Hello and welcome everybody to the third WoW Files podcast healing guide. My name is Modem. I'll be your healing teacher today, and today we're going to be talking about Resto Druids. This guide assumes that you already know most of the spells in your arsenal, but we're going to start by showing you a few things that I think you should really pay attention to in your talent tree and otherwise, and then we're going to go into some fights. So the first major talent in your talent tree, uh, well it's not the first major talent, but it is one extremely important talent for mana efficiency. It's Empowered Touch, and not only is it a nice throughput thing, throughput talent, it actually causes all your direct heals to actually refresh the duration of life bloom on targets, most specifically your tank. Uh, Nature's Bounty is another great talent. It increases critical strike chance of regrowth by 60%. And uh, when you have Rejuva active on three or more targets, the cast time in Nourish is reduced by 30%, making your most efficient heal really quite fast. And in raid scenarios, it's great. Effervescence. Um, it's when you heal with Swift Mend, you put a big old green circle on the ground that heals everybody within it. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing tool because not only are you getting that Swift Men burst, you're also getting an AoE heal. So, in addition to Wild Growth, there's another AoE tool. Lastly is Tree of Life. And a lot of people seem to ignore Tree of Life, and I think it's quite sad that they do because Tree of Life is such a fantastic tool. Um, not only is it a throughput increase, it actually does a, quite a few great things. Like, you can put Life Bloom on multiple targets instead of just one. Wild Growth heals more people. Regrowth is instant cast. And then you get some nice damage things like Wrath, uh, Wrath, Wrath, uh, cast time is decreased. But that's not very important for healing. But it's an amazing healing cooldown. Don't ignore it. So this first fight that we're going to be showing you is Romog from Blackrock Depths. Uh, Jason from the Wild Files podcast is actually tanking this bad boy, so you can actually see him in action too here. Um, there's not a lot of damage in this fight, and that's kind of why I wanted to show it to you. I just wanted to show you how to be efficient with healing. Um, as you can tell, Nourish isn't even moving my mana bar really at all. So what I've done is I've stacked Life Bloom three times on Jason, and now I'm just nourishing repeatedly to refresh that, and nothing major. As you see, AoE damage went out right there because all the the uh, melee or all the DPS decided they wanted to stand in every quake. But uh, it's actually kind of good for the purpose of this video because all I did there was wild growth them, and that actually pretty much healed them all for, to full from that from that quake, which is pretty nice. Uh, so here's another. I, I took that one too. Here's another uh, quake, and the add spawned and healing. Or Resto Druids actually pull a lot of aggro with healing. So my first instinct always is to run directly towards the tank so that they can pull all those adds off me. Um, really important that you do that. Run to the tank, never away from the tank because um, you know it pretty much makes it impossible for a tank to, to peel those things off you. So here's adds again, running towards the tank. He's picking them up off me. And you know, there's group damage, just wild growth. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll put Life Bloom, or excuse me, Rejuve on the on the tank in addition to Life Bloom. Uh, sometimes I like to use that Regrowth there on those procs. Um, you pretty much want to use Regrowth or Healing Touch every time that proc comes because it is a free cast. Um, pretty, pretty important. Um, again, this fight just repeats over and over and over again, but it really gives you a good glimpse on how to be mana efficient. Uh, use wild growth when there's group damage. When people are stacked up like that, efflorescence is a very, very great talent. Um, and you, as you can see, you know the majority of what I'm casting in terms of a direct heal is just nourish, and that barely moves my mana bar at all. And as you can see, this fight's actually gone on for about two minutes, and I'm not even at 80% mana or just just around floating around that. So um, restoratives can be extremely mana efficient if you know what you're doing and just so long as you keep your uh, keep your state balanced and, and everything's good to go. So I'll let you finish watching the rest of this fight before we get to the next one. So 
here's the first fight in Vortex Pinnacle. And uh, they actually changed this one recently so that you can't just stack up in the middle. You do have to run in and out of the range. But uh, it's a good example of how movement can work and a good amount of AoE damage can go out. And you can just be very mana efficient with all of that. Um, I also purposely popped Tree of Life Form on this fight in, a, in a, about a minute just so that you can see it in action even though I really didn't need to. Um, as you see, the Cyclones are collapsing back in, I'm running back out, and I'm still managing to heal the group pretty well. Um, there's a good amount of AoE damage coming out here, but, you know, I put Rejuve on three people, and, uh, Wild Growthing, and with that mastery, you know, the more hots you have on a person, the more each one of them heals, which is pretty neat. Um, again, just moving in and out, situational awareness, I mean, as you can tell with the amount of healing throughput, no one really goes below 70%, 60%. Um, so right here I'm going to pop Tree of Life form just so that you can see it in action. And what I'm doing is I'm wild or I'm life blooming everyone. And that's one of the changes from Tree of Life form is you can actually life bloom every single person in your group, which is crazy cuz when they when your life bloom falls off, it heals for like 30k or maybe even more than that in some instances. And Wild Growth heals more people, and it, and it heals harder because in Tree of Life form, everything heals harder. Um, also, Regrowth is an instant cast, so it's a fantastic tool, too. As you can tell, I, like a nub, I got hit by the last tornado, but no no harm, no foul. This fight's pretty easy, and uh, just rejuving people and Wild Growthing on the run. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, too, is to be very sparing with your Rejuve. As, as you can tell, you know I used a lot of Rejuves there. And, as you can tell, my mana bar dropped a good bit very quick. So here's the last fight I'm going to be showing you. is uh, Aaron Axe Stone Speaker fight in Throne of the Tides. And this fight's just one of those fights that kind of bounces back. There's a lot of damage. I had to use Innervate once because um, he was healing because my hots were ticking and the Warlock's dots were ticking. But uh, it's just a good fight to watch in terms of... Uh, the amount of damage is coming out, how to move, uh, how to use those procs like I did there. Um, actually, I got two back to back, which is pretty nice. Um, just AoE damage, wild growth, nourish, life bloom. Um, Druid healing is pretty simple once you once you get the hang of it. Uh, as you can tell, I put effervescence on the tank there. Uh, that's a great tool. Not not just because it's an AoE tool. Because you swift mend the tank, and then it continues to heal the tank after the fact. And if you have a full melee group, it's fantastic because you can be healing a lot of people with that with that tool. Um, I'm just going to talk about a few things during this fight. Um, it, maybe not so much uh, related to this fight, but just things that I like to do. When there's a lot of group damage, I like to wild growth and then use my nourish on people. And the reason is because nourish is mana inefficient or, or mana efficient but it doesn't heal for very much unless you have another heal already on the target so one thing I like to do is I like to cast wild growth and then nourish because then my nourish is going to be hitting for its you know full capacity instead of just 6k or whatever a nourish hits for uh, it's very low if you don't already have an existing hot on the on the target that you're nourishing so that's one way to you know blanket people in a hot and then roll nourish on them and and get them topped off as you can tell there's a lot of aoe damage here um again just wild growth and rejuve and nourish and uh i'm trying not to cast because of that absorb magic spell but it, it's always kind of hard and nerve-wracking to do that and we had hots and dots on this fight which was kind of kind of crazy um there I just used Tranquility, uh, mainly because I wanted to get everyone topped off before he cast that Absorb Magic, and it didn't apply a hot. Uh, don't ignore Tranquility, because it's only about 6 or, six or 7k mana, and it can heal people for an insane amount. It's it's not just a throughput cooldown, that's, that's one of the most important things to think about, is Tree of Life and... Uh, Tranquility aren't just throughput cooldowns, they're mana efficiency cooldowns because they prevent you from having to cast a lot of spells that, um, you know, cost the same amount of mana and only do healing on one target and a significant amount of less healing. Uh, you know, 
those cooldowns are, are very, very important, and don't ever ignore them. Um, I, that's the main thing that I see a lot of Resto Druids doing, is they kind of ignore the fact that they have those cooldowns. Um, Tree of Life, especially because Tree of Life has Life Bloom on everybody, and Life Bloom, I think, costs under a thousand mana. So you can just roll that all day long and never move your mana bar. In fact, your mana bar will actually go up um, while you're just spamming everyone with Life Bloom. So it's, it's very important to be mana efficient and smart with your cooldowns. So here's my uh, healing breakdown. Life Bloom was my top heal. Wild Growth was actually my second best heal. Rejuve, Regrowth, Nourish, um, Tranquility. I try to only cast Regrowth mostly when I have that, that proc just to be efficient, but as you can tell, that proc actually goes off quite a bit, so it's, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, just work on being efficient, and pretty soon you'll be Ponin Face as a Resto Druid too.